Uh, you're going to have to get in a place that money cannot buy. Uh, so the people that you walk past, you're going to have to find some of them poor people, some of them old peasants. And even though they didn't have your money, they were rich in faith. And oh, y'all ain't heard me today. When you're rich in faith, it'll cause the rich man to have to call the poor man and say, could you call on the name of Jesus? I don't know who I'm preaching to today, but take my money, take the car, take whatever you want to take, but just don't take your spirit away from me. Uh, I need you when I'm going in the, I need you in the street. I need you to help me to love people. I need you to help me to do right. I need you on the job. I need you in my marriage. I need you like right now. And a lot of us are in the position we're in. And the reason we're in that position is because we haven't hit the bottom low yet. But God is going to take you real low. And in due time, in due time, he'll raise you up. Come on and bless the Lord up in this place. Breakthrough. You need a breakthrough. Humble yourself. Don't have all the answers. Don't have all the answers. Don't have all the answers. Sit down and be taught. Sit down and be encouraged. Sit down and be refilled. If you really had it all together, why you feel the way you feel? You ain't fooling nobody. Let God heal you from the ground. Some of us are so stubborn. 
so rebellious, so hard in our hearts. But I hear God saying, you're no match for me. I can break you. I can break you. Your trouble is not by coincidence. God says, I'm talking to you. But I got to break you. You see, if I bring you down low enough, when I bring you out, everybody will look at your life. And then it won't be your life, it'll be the life of Christ that'll be manifested in your mortal body. That's what the Bible says. But what if that means I've got to suffer embarrassment? Oh, y'all ain't been embarrassed yet? Come talk to me, I'll tell you about what it's like to be a spectacle. He'll take the very thing that you specialize in and cause you to suffer in that area. Not because he's vindictive, but because he knows what it takes to boot, to break you right on down. I know we didn't get into a whole lot of topic today. But if you get this, that God hangs out with the low people. I'm closing here. There was a man by the name of Zacchaeus. Y'all remember that song in the church? Zacchaeus was a wee little old man. And a wee little old man was he. Remember that song? He climbed up in a sycamore tree because the Lord he wanted to see. And then one day, he was passing by. Hey, come on, mom. And he said, and Jesus, he was passing by, and Jesus said, Zacchaeus, you come. Y'all remember the story of Zacchaeus? He said, I'm coming to your house. Can I share something with you? The spiritual meaning behind that story of Zacchaeus in the tree. Remember, he was so short. He wanted to climb to see what Jesus. Let me show you something real quick. You'll see Jesus if you stop, watch this, if you stop trying to be seen. And here's the message, Zacchaeus. You come. If you come down, I can come into your. If you need him to come into your house, you come down. You come down. Okay, y'all didn't catch that. Listen. If you're here today and you're looking for a place to start over, a place you can grow, a place that, listen, we cover everything here, everything. We talk about everything from the government down to, you name it, we cover it here. Whatever you ask, that's what we teach. And much more. But the thing we're missing is each other. Because you can't do it at home by yourself. Each joint supplieth. With all the people that we're missing today, we need every single person to get where they need to be. Okay, y'all quiet. If you're looking for a church, a place that you can start over, we just love on you just like you are. But we won't let you stay there. We're going to pull you up. Amen. We're going to pull you up. We, you got to come up now. But in order to come up, you got to go down. If you're here today and that's you, I want to open and extend an invitation to you right now. Is there somebody looking for a place? Then why don't you humble yourself and come right now? Is there one? Somebody looking for a church looking for a place to start over looking for a place just to love on you looking for a place just to be listen to me we're here just this ain't nothing but a hospital ain't nobody got it together Jesus is the doctor everybody is a patient from the pastor to the back door if you're here and you know it's you why don't you come right now we can't wait to receive you we just want to love on you is there one is there one is there one 
Pastor, this is the place. Where, where are you? I can grow here. Thank the Lord today. As we close out, as we close out, you know it's prayer today. We're going to close out at the altar, but if there's one you know for sure, you don't want to leave out until, until we've prayed for you. Where are you? We'll come to you. Where are you? Is there one? Just lift your hand. You know you need it today. Amen. Is there one? Okay, just that fast, somebody said, I know it's me, but I ain't going to be the only one to raise my hand. Who was that? There's one. Okay, sir. Come on, brother, real quick. You're going back to Lynchburg. Let me, come on, come on, let me pray for you, man. Come on, who else? Who else? Who else? Thank God. Who else? Amen. Amen. Whatever you need, God's got it today. Whatever you stand in need of, God has got it today. Every bit of the hurt and rejection, I don't have to know you, but I can tell you God loves you so much, man. And the truth is, you have not heard those words in a way that it has penetrated your heart, in a way that you can receive it. But today, I pray that the Lord would allow you to feel his love. I pray that the Lord would allow you to feel the embrace of a father. The words that you are approved, the words that you are great, you are powerful, you are anointed, you are not a mistake, you are not a coincidence, but you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Yes. I command every spirit that have attacked you even from a young boy that made you feel like you could never do enough to please even your family. I don't know you, but I'm telling you what God is putting on my heart. You never could do enough. No matter what you tried, you changed up this, you changed up that, you changed up your dress, you changed up where you hung, and it was somebody that was dissatisfied. But the devil is a liar today. Because you're not here by coincidence. You're here by divine appointment. So the Holy Ghost is already dealing with your heart. And from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. The love of God is wrapping you up right now. And I command every spirit of rejection, hurt, disappointment, failure. I can't do enough. I can't be enough. I'm not this enough. Every demon that lied and spoke to you even at nighttime about why other people had it and you didn't. The enemy is a liar and I command his words to fall right now and be burned up. And I speak life. I speak life in the name of Jesus. This is what I want you to do. I just want you to forgive somebody. You may have think that you already have done it. That's fine. It's all right. But it ain't going to hurt. So I want you to do this with me. I don't know how your relationship was with your father. But I want you to forgive him. And I want you to forgive every family member that didn't recognize the greatness that was in you. I don't care what they said. I don't care how they turned their back. You've got to let it go right now. When you do, your whole life is going to change. Because the business that you've been wanting to, to get into and start, but you push it aside because you don't think it's ever going to be a good time because right now you can barely get things done the way you need to get them done. So how will you ever start? All those things will be hindered by you just releasing and Watch this. And letting some stuff go. Can you let it go? Now, forgiveness ain't a feeling. It's just an obedience. So you ain't got to love them and go out to lunch. You just got to say, Lord, you deal with them. I take them out of my courtroom and I put them in yours. That's forgiveness. Get them out of your courtroom and let the judge deal with them. Is that all right? Just repeat after me, Lord. I thank you that you love me. 
I recognize that you have a purpose for my life. My life is just beginning. My story is far from over. So today, I forgive those that hurt, took advantage, mistreated, abused, misused, and those who walked out, who were never there, who abandoned me, I release them into your courtroom, into your arms, and from this day, it will no longer hinder me directly or indirectly because I'm free to love, I'm free to be loved, I'm free to walk in blessings. Today, I release in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. If you believe it, come on, y'all give God some praise today. Give God some praise today. some praise today. Now God, out of his belly, let it flow rivers of living water. And every demon that has lied to him and tried to attack him, even in his dreams today, God. Going back to a young boy, nine and ten years old, the hurt and the things that nobody even knows, God, you're mending them right now. You're mending his heart right now. You're mending his heart. Out of his belly, I command every demon of hurt to come out of him in Jesus' name. Move right now. Let him go. Let him go. Hurt. Deep hurt. Deep hurt. Deep hurt. Come on. Move. 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 Come on. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go in Jesus' name. Let him go. God, I pray for a God paid love to flow all over this man in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Come on, everybody that believe it. Say in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Thank you, Lord. Give God some praise today. Give God some praise today. We're going out the building. Who else? Amen. Amen. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, Lord, I thank you for this day. Lord, I thank you for your power. God, I thank you for your spirit. I thank you, Lord, that you're humbling us, God, that we might be risen with you. Now, God, bless every person in this place. Cause us to love each other and pray for one another. Give us a right spirit, God. And we bind and break the spirit of pride. And we loose the power of the Holy Ghost. And it's in the name of Jesus we pray. Come on, grab somebody and love on them. And say amen.